I'm Josh Fullman, Director of New Project Development at Northwestern Energy, and welcome to the Yellowstone County Generating Station. One of the main reasons we chose this location for this facility was its proximity to the Laurel Auto sub behind me. We have an abandoned gas line that came in here that supplies our natural gas line in, and we purchased 33 acres from the CHS refinery just to the north of us. One of the big things about this facility we had to take consideration for was noise. These engines do produce a lot of noise when you're inside of the engine hall. As you can see, when you're outside of the engine hall, we took a lot of time and effort in engineering to dampen that noise. This is our switch yard behind me here. The power comes in through our switch yard right here and then enters our electrical building behind me here so we can run all of our pumps and motors and devices inside of the plant. This is our electrical distribution center. And in here, this is where we take all of the electricity and we distribute it out to all of the balance of plant equipment, the motors, the pumps, the valves that operate the generating station. Here we have our power island where our units are kept. And what they do is they're just pumping in outside air just to keep the temperature ambient inside of the control room. So this is the engine hall. Inside of this room right here, we have Caterpillar 9.7 megawatt combustion engines. The natural gas reciprocating internal combustion engine, known as rice units, can wrap up from an idle state in eight minutes, run as long as demand requires, and start and stop multiple times daily. The plant's generation can provide on-demand power, flexible capacity, base load, power, and regulation services with reduced emissions. This is very important to us, so if the wind ever stops blowing in some of our wind facilities, this place will be the backstop and take up for that power loss. We're very conscious about the light emitting throughout the facility, so we made sure that we instituted dark sky compliant lighting with additional dimmers and rheostats so that when no one's in the area, the lights will be off, and when people are in the area working for safety measures, they will come on. You know, when you get to see a project come together and you get to see something like this get completed, I mean, that's what makes it all worth it. You start from putting a shovel in the ground, and by the time you get to the end of this, you have a working power facility that's just supporting, you know, the surrounding community and, and everybody around us, and it's just, it's, it's that sense of satisfaction. That's why we do it.